Hey y'all, I'm Ife of Ife Fishlikte TV. Pow! Hit subscribe. Wait. If you like my videos, you have to hit subscribe because that's the only way to find out when I post a new video for this one year of Ayurveda challenge. If you already subscribed, thank you so much. And like this video, I know before you even watch it, I know. And follow me on Instagram. I'm posting a lot more usual than usual. So join me there on Instagram and see what's up. I wanted to talk today about two leave-in conditioners that I've been trying. And I want to know your thoughts on it. If you've tried them before, what your what your what your experience has been like. The reason I'm asking because uh, I don't know, I haven't decided as yet if I like them, if I want to have them as keepers, if I want to get them again. I don't know as yet because I've just really recently tried them. So I've tried this one. This is Cream of Nature. Right, I've tried this one here. The Cream of Nature. This one, I've used this one as a leave-in conditioner. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I don't know how I feel about it yet because I kind of left my hair a little bit dry. So, I don't know, I, I have to see. Now, the other thing too is that I didn't moisturize my usual way. So, my usual way of, of moisturizing is, is on damp. Y'all, by the way, it's what time in the day? It's 3 p.m. and those roosters will not stop. So, it's, um, right, so I didn't moisturize my usual way. So, that's probably why I can't really assess if I would keep this deep conditioner in my stash. So, my usual way of, deep, of moisturizing is on after I've freshly washed my hair, I would put on a layer of flaxseed, leave in conditioner, and then my shea butter. But at that point in time, I really just wanted to just use the leave in conditioner and follow by shea butter. So, my hair was kind of dry. So, but I'm back on my flaxseed leave in shea butter regimen. I don't know why that week I was just feeling a little bit lazy than usual, but that's my usual way of moisturizing, and that's when my hair really locks in moisture. Y'all, let me know how y'all feel about these roosters. I'm so sorry, y'all. In China, when I'm filming, there's no noise whatsoever. Nothing to deal with, but yo. Alright, so I will reassess this leave-in, this specific leave-in conditioner from Cream of Nietzsche one more time. Or a few more times. Well, I have a whole bottle, so I have to use it a few more times. Uh, so I'm going to use it with the flaxseed, then followed by this, and then my shea butter. So I'm going to try this again. So I've tried this a few times, and yeah, I can't really decide this yet. However, now I have this one. This one is also cream of nature, but this time it's the kind of, it's also a leave-in conditioner, but it's sort of liquidy. This one's pretty liquid, and you have to really shake it up, shake it up to get to it. So it's strength and shine leave-in conditioner. I use this to do this hairstyle, and my hair, it is so moist. I did it like three days ago. And my hair seems to like it so far. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, and I did it the, the normal way of moisturizing on damp hair. I applied my flaxseed and then this, I spray, I shook this, sprayed it, and then I put my shea butter on and I braided it. So my hair seems to like this so far. And it seems very like supple, but I haven't released the curls yet to see how my hair is behaving so the jury's still out a little bit on that so you'll see how it goes all right so but i want to know from you guys or you girls or you gals um i want to know from you what's going on have you tried this something else let me know what do you think uh so this one is more of a cream it's more of a cream and this one is more of a liquid, so it's two totally different, same brand, same cream of nature, but um, two different types. All right, and this one is a cream type texture, deep conditioner. So I mean, leave in. Why I keep saying deep conditioner? Leave in conditioner. So let me know what you guys think about this. And by the way, they smell really good. They both smell totally different too. I'm surprised by how this one smells. It was kind of like a, a kick in your face kind of scent. Very strong. This one. This one is more subtle, mild, uh, but still, as it says, a pure honey, rich coconut milk, creamy shea butter. It has some shea butter in this too. So they say. I'm trying to figure out, trying to decide. But I want to know your opinion, your thoughts, your views, your review. Let me know in the comments below. Post, post, post. And uh, if there's another leave in conditioner you think I should purchase or try out while I'm here, in Trinidad, 
let me know what I should get because you know I can't get access to these that easily in China when I leave so clock is ticking guys let me know in the comments below and as I said before you gotta like this video you've got to hit subscribe you've got to follow me on Instagram too I know three things I told you to do just now do all three okay bye see you ciao